Hallelujah. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Yes, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mighty, 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 good God. Praise God. Powerful. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. You're my son. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, he says, Come on, do it, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, God. 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 Oh, Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We give God praise tonight for that testimony. And we, we just praise the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That God is working. Yes, He is. Through yielded vessels. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. We're working. Amen. Uh -huh. He does miracles. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And we thank God Hallelujah. for that. We give God praise. Amen. Yes. We thank God for you that are here tonight. We honor the Lord. We oh, thank yes. God for yes. Oh, yes. We give God praise. We thank God for Pastor Sullivan. Amen. 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 Praise God. Minister Owsley, all of all of you that are here tonight. We thank God. We thank God. Pastor Sullivan was filling in for me last week. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, we thank God uh, for his word. Yeah. We thank God that God has uh, equipped us with the ability to uh, oh, thank you, Jesus. get in this word Amen. and to extract and pull out. Amen. That. Uh, that living word yes. that is beyond just than that just which is on paper. That's right. Amen. Yes. Many people can read what's on paper, mm -hmm. but they don't know how to extract that living word mm -hmm. out of the written word. My Amen. Man. Hallelujah. And so we thank God, and that's the reason why Bible study, that's the reason why Sunday school, yes. that's the reason why, amen, that we have to study that we may extract out of the word what's in there, amen, on these printed pages, praise God. And so we want to uh, uh, pick up where we left off before our brief uh, uh, absence. And we have been talking from Matthew, the seventh chapter, and we want to read that verse again, Matthew chapter seven and verse 15 just for your hearing to bring us up. We have been talking about wolves in sheep clothing. We've been talking about false prophets, false teachers, uh, those that would come in to the flock and uh, destroy, devour, uh, divide uh, the flock. And so uh, Jesus gives us some uh, insight as it relates to who we're dealing with and that they are still uh, prevalent among us today. That's right. Uh, uh, false prophets, false teachers, amen. And so God wants us to be in the know as it relates to the false prophets because he says here in Matthew 7 and 15, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. They are ravenous wolves, amen? amen. And so we began to talk about uh, on last week and the, the weeks before uh, some of the traits and some of the uh, telltale characteristics of someone that may be a false prophet, that may be uh, a wolf in sheep clothing. And, uh, and so we began that on last time and we talked about that one of them or one of the uh, indicators is that wolves, wolves would uh, they have an issue with spiritual authority. And we began to identify some scripture that relates to people that take issue with spiritual authority. And Paul deals with that with almost every church that he went to and established. Mm -hmm. Every church that would birth 
amen, through the ministry of Paul, had issues with men and women that were trying to come in and divert and dissect and divide the body. Mm -hmm. And he had to set some things in place. He has to let them know exactly who they're dealing with. Amen? Mm -hmm. And so false prophets, uh, uh, they've been around a long time. Mm -hmm. False prophets was even back during the time of Moses. Mm -hmm. uh, matter of fact, uh, in the writings of Moses, over in the book of Deuteronomy, let's go there right quick. Amen. Uh, if you hold your place in Matthew 7, let's go to Deuteronomy, I believe it's uh, chapter chapter 18. Uh, and let's, let's hear what the Old Testament talks about just briefly here concerning false prophets and those that will come among us. Amen. Now, as we talk about false prophets, we don't want to uh, just completely throw a blanket on everybody. Amen. Uh, amen. Even those that are that are of God, we can miss it. Right. Is that right? Amen. We can miss it. Amen. So we don't want to throw a blanket on everybody that gives a word, and uh, for some reason it may not manifest as we think. That's right. And so we don't want to label them as a false prophet. Amen. Sometimes God may speak a word. But it may be a delayed manifestation of that word. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I was talking to, uh, I took a pastor friend of mine to lunch one day, and we was talking about some things, and uh, and I asked him, you know, in general, I spoke, well, you know, when was the last time you went to so-and-so church or preached at so-and-so church? He said, well, he said, I got word that they don't want me to come back to their church <laughs> because the people said I was a false prophet. And I said, why? He said, well, I gave a prophecy uh, to an individual within the church, and they said it didn't come to pass. And uh, he said, he said, well, what they don't realize is that sometimes God may give a word, but it may not be for that season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. It may not be for that season. Mm -hmm. And so we have to, amen, we have to embrace it. Praise God. And so what the church did, the church meaning the people, uh -huh. mm -hmm. told the pastor, we don't want him back wow. because he's a false prophet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that's why, that's why, y'all, we've got to be biblical literate mm -hmm. as it relates to spiritual things, as it relates to gifts of the spirit as it relates to the operation and the functions of the Spirit and the moving of the Holy Spirit. We have to be literate, not illiterate. <laughs> but you got to know, you got to, you got to know how the operating of the Spirit and spiritual gifts, amen, how they manifest. And so, uh, he goes on to say that he has not been invited back. Uh, because the people rejected him because of the prophecy or the prophetic utterance that he gave. Mm -hmm. Now, just because God may use you to give a prophetic utterance does not mean that you're a prophet. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. So don't, don't, you know. And so, God, there have been so many people that God used in a particular setting for a particular season, mm -hmm. gave them a prophetic utterance, and then all of a sudden, oh, you must be a prophet. Mm -hmm. Oh, you a prophet. Mm -hmm. See, and then there they go. Mm -hmm. There they go, you know, hurting folk, mm -hmm. misleading people, mm -hmm. misguiding people. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so, uh, in the book of Deuteronomy, uh, chapter 18, and let's start at, uh, let's see where I want to start. Let's start at verse 9, because in the first part of chapter 18, Moses instructed uh, by God concerning the Levites and their portion. How the Levites was one of the only ones that did not get a portion of land mm -hmm. at the tribe. God said, I'm, the, I, I'm their portion. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. That's right. Uh, I'd rather have God than a piece of land. That's right. Is that right? And so God says, 
uh, uh, they will not hold a job. Uh, 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 whatever you bring as a sacrifice, when you bring a bull, well, then he, he, he explained to them what was their portion. What was their portion? Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Now, in, in, in verse 9, if we can start in verse 9, uh, yeah, start in verse 9, it says, When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. In other words, don't pick up their habits. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen? Don't pick up their habits. Y'all, we're picking up the world habits. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. And we brought them into the church. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. We have picked up the world habits. Mm -hmm. Amen. I have a pet peeve that it bothers me to no end, and some of y'all may not think anything wrong with it, but it bothers me when I see churches that have these colored flickering stage lights in the sanctuary. It looks like Studio 54. <laughs> that, that bothers me. That bothers me. Y'all, maybe I'm showing my age. But that bothers me when I see the flickering lights and the strobe lights and the different color lights going up in the middle of praise. I, I'm just all confused. I feel, you know what I'm saying? It, but, but we have brought that... <laughs> amen. That come out of the club. Amen. amen. The blue, amen. I remember the blue amen. lights and all. Yeah. Amen. 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 <laughs> the strobe lights and all that kind of stuff. That comes out of the club, didn't it? Yeah. Came out of house party. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. With disco yeah. ball and yeah. all of those yeah. type of stuff. Well, it's it's in the church. It's, the church. Yeah. it's in the church. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I have I take issue with that. Yeah. I've even posted that out on Facebook and I told them, you know. I said, when did this happen? Yeah. Oh, no. You know, I didn't get many responses. I, <laughs> I made some folk mad. But so I don't, I don't, I, don't, I, I can't get it. I can't get it with that. Amen. Amen. And the, he said, when you come into this, God, don't take after those people. Look at verse 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or daughter to pass through the fire. Amen. He's talking about those. Uh, uh, because those were detestable things during that time because they ran into nations that, that were barbaric, that were superstitious, amen, and they will sacrifice their children to gods, mm -hmm. to appease the gods, yeah. amen. Mm -hmm. They will sacrifice. He said, don't, don't do those despicable things. He says here, to pass through the fire, or that uses divination, or observer of times, or enchanters, or witches. You know, you know, he's talking about psychics, warlocks, mm -hmm. witches. Yeah. Amen. Observers of time, astrologies. Huh? Amen. What's your sign? Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Oh, you must be a you must be a Leo. Yeah. You act a certain way. You must be a Leo. You know, and we buy into stuff, all that kind of stuff. Like, that. what's your sign? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so he said, don't get caught up into all of that. Amen. The mysticism and the mystic manifestation, amen, of demonic spirits. Mm -hmm. He says, he says, enchanters or witches, amen, or charmers or consultants, those, amen, that, that were trying to conjure up the day. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Seances. Oh, Amen. Right. And, 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 you know, everybody sitting around the table. Mm -hmm. You know, oh. I told y'all, church folk do this stuff. Yeah, that's what you do. Church folk do this stuff. Amen. Yeah. Mother Hill can attest. Amen. Yeah. There was a lady pastor that that's lived right. up the street from us. Sure. Huh. <laughs> and pastors, I can name names. Oh. <laughs> pastors in this city did a Nicodemus. Oh. By night, they would go to her house. Yeah. Mother yeah. Yeah. would go to her house at night. Pastor, I can name some names. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna name. I ain't gonna name. I ain't gonna name. I ain't gonna name. I, I, I said I want one. I'm gonna stop naming. I could name folk, but they go to her house at night mm. to get readings, mm -hmm. conjure up stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For her to speak Amen. over them, get them chicken bones, 
roll them out and read the volume. Yes. All this kind of stuff. Amen. I pray when he let us go up to the house. And one of my, now her son was one of my best friends. Okay. But we were kind of forbidden to go up there. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Because they didn't want that spirit around us as children. You know what I'm saying? But this stuff is real. It is, it is real. And so Moses, through God, is telling, telling Israel, now y'all going to come across some stuff that y'all ain't never seen before. Don't y'all get captivated uh, and buy into it. Amen. See, that's what a false prophet will do. A false prophet, amen, will, 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 will charm you. Mm -hmm. Charm you. Will hypnotize you through words, through, 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 through mannerism. Now, let me finish reading this. He says, charmers, consulters, of, uh, consulters with familiar spirits, mm -hmm. or wiz wizards, or necromancers. Amen. Necromancers. That is more or less just it, 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 that means just psychics. Uh, people that 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 mm -hmm. practice that type of uh, 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 psychics, mm -hmm. uh, palm readers, tea leaf readers, mm -hmm. all of these people. Amen. And you find you find some some church going folks say, ain't no wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ain't no wrong with that, you know what I'm saying? No, but you, 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 you are, you are being misguided. You are being misguided by, by these people. And so there are a lot of rules that are under the influence and control of these type of spirits. Amen. Don't be fooled because somebody can quote scripture. That's right. All right. Amen. The devil can. I quote all of us. That's right. Mm -hmm. Don't don't be alone with somebody, a man uh, that that can quote or that can uh, see. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself because, uh, for the most part, you have people that are false teachers and false prophets. A man, they have done their homework. Mm -hmm. They know how to uh, stroke the emotions mm -hmm. of their victims. Wow. A man. Mm -hmm. And so we have to be very mindful. So last week we talked about, oh, 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 uh, a few weeks ago, uh, let me just share this. This is public information. I, I, I can name this person's name, but we talked about a few weeks ago, uh, Ella, Ella Scarborough mentioned uh, uh, Bishop Carlton Pilser, uh, who was the uh, pastor of Higher Dimensions out of Tulsa for many years. Uh, now he is with the uh, UCC. Uh, group of, of churches, um, and so, but but uh, uh, many don't know what he preaches, and uh, what he and many other preach uh, through the universalism or the gospel of inclusion. And uh, I just want to kind of give you just a, just a few things quickly because uh, uh, among the uh, uh, black Christendom. And for the most part, the whites as well. Uh, he has been uh, uh, excommunicated. Uh, he has been uh, released. He has been labeled and heretic uh, for his teachings. This is all public information. I'm, I'm not blasting not anybody. This is all public information. And so, but let me just give you uh, four, four or five things here concerning the gospel of inclusion. Amen. Amen. The gospel of inclusion. It's nothing new. It's been around for a long time. Uh, you know, I'm going to read this to you. It says, the gospel of inclusion is simply the old heresy of universalism repackaged and given a new name. Universalism is the belief that all people will eventually be saved and go to heaven. The gospel of inclusion, as taught by Carlton Pearson and others, encompasses several false beliefs. Number one, the gospel of inclusion says that the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ paid the price for all humanity to enjoy eternal life in heaven. Now that's true. John 3.16 says, For God's love the word that he gave to the Holy God's Son. Who's never believed in him? 
hear my prayers for him everlasting life. Jesus did die for the sin of the world. Yes. 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 That's, That's true. right. That's See, a, a, a false teacher, a false prophet, they will mix and mingle the word. Mm -hmm. They'll give you a partial truth. That's right. They will never give you the whole truth. Right. Amen. They'll give you a, 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 a version or a diversion of the truth. Of the word, amen? Mm -hmm. And so he said, and they say here that that all humanity shall enjoy eternal life in heaven without any need for repentance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, he has done several interviews over the years. Now this came out, now he 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 got into this almost 20 years ago. So so this is nothing new, but it has resurfaced since this movie has come out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Called movie. Come Sunday. Yes. That movie has come out, so now it has resurfaced again to the forefront, mm -hmm. primarily of the black church, of the black church. And so, so their belief is that there's no need for repentance. That in other words, everybody's already saved, but they, they don't know it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he was asked, well, is Hitler saved? He said, yes. Stalin saved? Yes. Mussolini? Yes. Idi Amin? Yes. And so they just were, uh, ask him several people that have done horrendous things, mm -hmm. vile things. Are they saved? Yes, they're saved. They just don't know it. Mm -hmm. uh, the gospel of inclusion teaches that salvation is unconditional. Mm -hmm. Hear that now. Mm -hmm. Salvation is unconditional and does not even require faith in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. as the payment for mankind's sin debt. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, amen. They, they take the position that Jesus is only one of many ways <laughs> to God. The Christians choose Jesus. But some other religious uh, set may choose somebody else to get to God. Amen. Well, we know that the Bible said Jesus said himself that he is the way. He is the only way. Is that right? <clears throat> Hallelujah. No man come to the Father. As a matter of fact, the Bible said that God said, this is my beloved son. Hear him. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, Amen. Right. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, didn't he make a statement that the devil could be saved if, if he repented? Your devil could be saved. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, and I hate to, I hate to call him bishop, but... Bishop Pearson says this. I heard that out of his own mouth. Mm -hmm. He said, God is going to have to repent to save him. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He said, God is going to have to repent to save him for what he said in his book. He said, if you believe this book. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. He said, this is not the word of God. This is man's interpretation of God's word. And so, you know, he goes, he goes, he goes on to say a lot. I'm not going to get into all of that. Uh, he goes on to say a lot. Let me give you this last one. He said, uh, last two. Of course, he says, yeah, they also declare that there's no hell. So there's no hell. If everybody's going to heaven, it makes sense, right? There's no need for hell. Yeah. You know? You know? But I have a problem. I have a problem because when he said that that there's no need for repentance, I have a problem with that. Yeah. Because you have to read Acts two, uh -huh. Acts four, uh -huh. Acts six, uh -huh. Acts eight, uh -huh. Acts ten. Uh -huh. All make reference to repentance. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Jesus. Uh -huh. And so, where does that come into play? Uh -huh. And so, but you know, a false prophet or false teacher would justify their position by scripture. Uh -huh. That's why you got to know what the word says. That's right. You have to know. Because they'll dissect the word and repackage it. That's mm -hmm. right. The word that has you thinking that it's saying a whole something totally different. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, amen. This is public knowledge. This is this is public information. Amen. I I I've, I've watched several of, of of the videos that's out there of him because I was intrigued by his position and I was trying to get in his head. So, where is he coming from? Where is he coming from? But if you listen to him, he's all over the place. Mm -hmm. On one hand, he quotes scripture. On the other hand, he said, you can't take it literally. Right. On one hand, he's saying that, 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 uh, that uh, 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 Jesus is, is, is not the way. But then on the other hand, he said, I love Jesus. 
So he's, he's, he's all over. He's confused. He's missed up. Amen. Uh, and so, but anyway, uh, uh, the gospel of inclusion believes that all humanity is destined uh, to life in heaven, whether or not they realize it or not. So in other words, uh, you can do whatever you want to do. You're still going to make it in. Amen. So let's close the church doors. Let's head out to the club. I'm buying the first round. Come on, yeah. if that's his position, yeah. if that's his position, and that's what, and and and, and, and uh, amen, a lot of us are being swayed over to that mm -hmm. position to where, because after all, y'all, after all, uh, uh, they played on the emotion because every one of us perhaps ha have have had loved ones that have died. Mm -hmm. And we question whether or not did they confess Christ. That's, That's right. right. Come on. That's, right. That's the reality of it. That's right. All of us. All of us. That's right. And, and I know sometimes I wonder, I think, before they exhale their last, yeah. did they call on Jesus? Jesus. Right. I don't know. That's right. Mm -hmm. But I, I think it's dangerous for me to put them in heaven, that's right. That's right. See, that's why we gotta preach this gospel, y'all. We gotta teach this gospel. We gotta live this gospel. We gotta snatch as many folk as we can. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Off of that broad highway yeah. and get them on the narrow way. Yeah, that's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Because we don't know, but what they play on, universalism will play on the fact. Mm -hmm. That, hallelujah, even those mm. that have gone on, they're going to make it in. You know, and, and, and there's a part of our emotional psyche who say, Lord, I pray. Mm. I pray. I hope. I wish. Yeah. I want to believe. Yeah. I want to believe. See, that's why when you go to the average funeral, amen, they put them in. Mm -hmm. Don't they? Yeah. Yeah. They put them in heaven, and you know they didn't live holy. They didn't live God. But we put them in because that's a part of us. Yeah. Want everybody. And that's, that's, that's the hook. That's their hook. No repentance. No confession of Christ. That's the hook. You in. You in. You in. Wow. You in. Amen. And so he was, he, uh, Mother, you had thought this, but oh, he thought he was labeled a heretic before the joint college of bishops, African American bishop. He was, he, he was labeled a heretic. He was dismissed. Uh, he was he was no longer recognized uh, as connected. And so the the UCC church. There was the church, the, the, the Universal Church of, of, of Christ out of San Francisco, California. They embraced him. That's his home church. Uh, uh, they take you as you are, whether you straight, lesbian, gay, bi, pan, you know. Uh, yeah, there's a pan, pan section. And so everybody, everybody is welcome as you are. There's no need for confession, repentance. God loves you just the way you are. Amen. And so, uh, bro, bro, yes, sir. I was looking. I heard a statement. I don't know whether uh, what their position is not a devil, right? In that their position, it's not a devil, right? Okay. Evil, evil. Yeah. There is no devil. There is no demon. Evil comes from the mind and the heart of a person. Okay. I think that's Well, see, see, that's the that's the confused thing of it is that uh, many of them that believe uh, they they can't give you a direct answer mm -hmm. as it relates. See, a false problem will pick and choose. They'll pick and choose a particular word and they'll build their ministry around that. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so, see, mm -hmm. that's why the Bible tells us to understand the whole letter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, we, we, we got to, we've got to know. The Bible said hear the hear the whole conclusion of the man. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mother Hill, you had a thought before we move on? Yes, uh, uh, Pastor. 
You know, God gave me when we had the conference the mind. Do you see how the mind is carrying people now? We are allowing things to come into the mind to carry us in different directions. And you were talking about the, the minister a while ago. Now, I'm not saying he was raised up like that, but he done got carried away in the mind. The mind. And see, you said the key word when you said the mind and the heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you see how how that is. And God gave me that to talk on the mind back in the conference. Mm -hmm. Y'all, <coughs> things are getting worse. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with yeah. you. See, I don't have television, but I can see it. Yeah. The saints have got, got their mind on the world, mm. on the world system. Because <coughs> the saints is saying, no, it ain't no harm. Mm. When God is telling us all the time what is right and what is wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. But we try to change it to fit us. Yes. Yes. That's, right. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to work. Yes. Right. Amen. Listen, Amen. I serve the true and living God. Amen. I yes. need every word God spoke yes. in this word. Yes. And God, let's don't get fooled and carried away by every doctrine we hear. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. Because they want to go that way. And you can't convince them, they have to hit it. <laughs> That's right. Oh, that's Thank you, Mother. That's the truth. Amen. They have to. Amen. And we, we, we reap what we sow. Right. We have to Amen. understand that, you know, all of us, all of us, you know, God is so merciful, so gracious. He gives all of us a, a, a choice. Yes, you know. That he gives us a choice. You know, the, the Bible says, choose you this day. Yeah. Choose you this day. Who shall you serve? Right. Yeah. As for me and my house, we should serve the Lord. Yeah. You know, so he gives us choices, you know. Right. You know, who's on the Lord's side? Yeah. You know, he, 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 he gives us that freedom to choose. Yes. yes. Amen. He says, I set before you. I set before you what? Life and death. He said, choose life. Choose life. Choose life. <laughs> he gives you the answer. He, he gives you the best yes. answer. Yes. yes. Your right, and so, and so, but he tell you to choose life, but it's still your choice. <laughs> so why would you say, well, God is too loving to send me to hell? You know, if there's such a place in hell, God is too, no, no, God doesn't send anybody. Amen. Your choice. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. All right. So wolves would have an issue with spiritual authority. We talked about that last week. Let me give you number two again. Wolves will try to manipulate and control you. Yeah. False prophets, false prophets, false teachers will try to manipulate and control you. Let's go to Romans chapter 16. Amen. And look at verse 17 and 17 through 19. Romans 16, 17, 18, and 19. Because what we have to understand, the bottom line is the devil wants to control. The devil wants to manipulate. And he doesn't care who he uses. And he'll use someone uh, that will come alongside of you. Now, he says here in the 17th verse of Romans 16, he said, Now I beseech your brethren, mark them. Mm -hmm. Amen. What does that word mark mean? Mark them. Be aware. Be aware. Yeah. Mark them. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. See them, take note. Come on. Yeah. Watch them. Yeah. Identify them. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh -huh. So he said, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. Uh -huh. See what I'm saying here? Yeah. He said, mark them. Mark those that will preach, uh, amen, anything that is contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. That's right. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God does not want us ignorant, y'all. He wants us to know some things, praise God, because there are a lot of false teachers and prophets in the land 
praise God, that is teaching contrary, and we just talked about the gospel of inclusion, amen, amen. Yeah. well, there, there are a thousand other gospels out there. Yeah. That's right. All of them claim to be the good news. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Because that's simply what the gospel is. Mm -hmm. it, it simply means good news. Yes. Amen. 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 Well, there are a thousand out there yes, that yes. claim to be the good news. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. And he said, he said, uh, uh, which they uh, uh, teach contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. And he said, avoid them. Yeah, avoid. Amen. You can't run with everybody. That's right. Yeah. That say they name the name of Christ. That's right. Yeah. You can't do it. Can't do it. Can't. You can't do it. Now, there's a lot of foolishness that's been taught for years. That if you were the Baptist, you can't run with the sanctified folk. Yeah, yeah. If you're sanctified, you can't run with the Baptist folk. If you're Baptist, you can't run with the Methodist. And you definitely can't run with the Catholic folk. Right. Yeah. 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 Amen. That's what they used to say. Amen. They said it. Yeah. Amen. I remember. You, 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 amen. And so, amen. We were taught that. Yeah. And many of them, um, um, you know, uh, uh, we used to sing the song, you know, and, and I didn't sing it. We didn't sing it when we were coaching. Oh, yeah. When we were, this is the church of God in Christ. You know, you can't join it. You have to be born in it. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's been around forever, mother. They've been around forever. Yeah. Then what do you say? They sung it. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. And so, uh, so the enemy separated the body of Christ. And because the body was separated, y'all hear me? Because the body was separated, amen, then the enemy came in. That's right. With false teachings and false prophecies. And false prophets, that, because the body was divided. Mm -hmm. Amen. Pentecostal was against the Baptist. Baptist was against the Methodist. Methodist was against the Presbyterian. The Presbyterian was against the Anglican. The Anglican was against the Catholic. And the Catholic was against everybody. That's the truth. That's it. Jesus. And the devil is just having a field day. Yes, he was. They will try to manipulate and control you. And so, amen, let me read on. He said, he said this in verse 18. He said, for they that are of such serve not the Lord Jesus Christ. Huh? Mm -hmm. Amen, y'all see that? Mm -hmm. They don't serve the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. But their own belly. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. Their own belly. I'm kind of jumping ahead. But amen. They have a mm -hmm. self agenda. Yeah. Right. At the end of the day, it's about them. About them. Yes. It's about them. It ain't about the body of Christ. It's about them. To manipulate, to control. Amen? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me hear them. Let me go to Acts chapter 20. I'm trying to give you many scriptures I can before I time it up. Acts chapter 20. Acts chapter 20. Acts chapter 20. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Acts 20. And let's look at verse 28 through 32, I believe. Acts 20. 28 through 32. Paul says this. Paul said, take, uh, 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 he said, take heed, therefore unto yourselves, unto all the flock. Now he's talking, he's talking about, he's talking to the overseers, he's talking to the pastors, mm -hmm. he's talking to the elders, those that are in leadership, those that mm -hmm. are, amen, that are shepherding, mm -hmm. amen, the flock of God. He says here, he said, and all the flock over that which the Holy Ghost have made you overseers to feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood. Uh -huh. For I know this, that after my departing, Paul said, after I leave, I know. Mm -hmm. I already know. Mm -hmm. mm. Shall grievous wolves enter in among you? Paul said, I see him hiding around the corner. Wow. <laughs> they wait for me to leave. Yeah. They wait in the palace. <laughs> they waited to manipulate and to control. They just wait. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's what he said. That's right. The end among you, not sparing the flock. A wolf will devour anything. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
They don't eat everything they kill. Mm. My, my, my. Amen. And you got people that were coming to the body of Christ. They look all sanctimonious. Mm. They mm. know the word. Mm. They dressed in a three-piece suit mm -hmm. or a nice skirt and blouse. Come on. And they'll come in, hallelujah, uh, all holy and pious, amen, and they'll convince you that they're of God. And they'll convince you that God sent them to you. Mm -hmm. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Amen. Be very careful. He said, therefore, verse 31, he said, therefore, watch and remember that by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. Paul, but I've been crying over y'all and telling y'all, yeah. watch out, be careful, don't get taken advantage of, get in the word, study, pray, mm -hmm. stay together. Stay together. The wolf pack will divide yeah. a herd. That's right. Mm. The weakest link. But, but if you stay together, Stay together. See, a false prophet or false teacher will pull one side, mm -hmm. get them indoctrinated, mm -hmm. send them back in. They go on there and pull them out. Mm -hmm. Go on there and get another. And then let you know the church is split. I know churches. I know churches today <coughs> that have split because of false teachings. Mm -hmm. It, it's sad. It's sad. Hallelujah. Amen. Let me hear real. Uh, all right. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Praise God. 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Uh, amen. They, they want to manipulate and control. Mm -hmm. They'll try to control the house. Hallelujah. Somebody say, not this house. Not this house. Amen. Not this house. Hallelujah. Amen. If I get if I get misled, somebody pull me back. No. <laughs> somebody pull me back. Don't leave me out there. Pull me back. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> huh? What's that, Mother Hill? I let you if you don't be hard here. No, I will. Grab me by the leg anyway. Pull me back. <laughs> Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3 he says, But I fear lest by any means as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted with the simplicity that is in Christ. Amen. Amen. Paul is saying he's warning them against the false leaders of that day. And he's saying here, I, he said, I pray that, that you don't become beguiled like Eve did. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how Eve got beguiled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God said, don't partake. And the devil said, he didn't really mean that. Yeah. Come on. Don't it look good? Yeah. You'll be like God if you take that. Mm -hmm. You know, beguiled, 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 hoodwink. Amen. Good way. Deceived. <laughs> Praise God. Beguiled. It, it, it simply means deception. Deception. Amen. And so he said here in verse, verse 4, he said, For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what we are? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. They preach it another Jesus. Another Jesus. Mm -hmm. Come on. And people of influence that has major positions and that have great platforms are preaching another uh, another Jesus. The Oprahs of the world are preaching another Jesus. Great pastors, national pastors that pack out stadiums, that have written several books, they preach another Jesus. I'm telling y'all, this is nothing. This is nothing. This is nothing new. No. Now, 
Say it again, then. Yeah. When they write books. Uh huh. And then later down the road, they change. Uh huh. Oh, what they gonna do with the books? Yeah, they they oh, the the damage is done. Yeah. Caucus, yeah, yeah. Remember Bishop Caucus said that was old him. Yeah. She yeah, said yeah, if you yeah. you gonna find that's not that's that that was old me. But she's talking about if he comes back, if a person comes back to them senses. Yeah. After they done put false teachings yeah. out there oh. and false doctrine yeah. and have have misled thousands. Yeah. Then they come back to themselves and say, yeah. I was wrong. I repent. Mm. Forgive me. Well, you've already uprooted thousands of churches, yeah. probably ruined thousands of marriages, oh. divided thousands of homes. Yeah. Now the wife gets it and the husband don't, or the husband gets it and the wife don't. Yeah. And so now all this damage, which some of them will not be able to be repaired. That's right. And then now your credibility has been shot. shot. Folks say, I can't trust him. I don't know what he's standing on. Yeah, Amen. Right. He was that for so long. Now he's this. Come on. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it take it take a lifetime take to get that trust and credibility yeah, back. Yeah, right. Because we got case in point here. It took Paul a long time for them folks trusted him. Yeah. 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 It took them a long time. Some of them went to their grave still kind of looking at the They still watched. They still was in doubt about them Paul. You know what I'm saying? And so, see, that's the that's the danger of it. That's the danger of it. And the destructive nature of it. It's damaging. Look what he says here. For if he that come and preacheth another Jesus. Whom we have not preached. Paul said, listen, if I ain't preached it. <laughs> See, that's why I'm so careful about who I allow to come in here. Amen. 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 I'm so careful. I'm so careful. Amen. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not above, amen, pulling somebody. Jacket tail, them, that's it. Stop, quit. Mm -hmm. yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> not gonna do that. We don't believe in that. That's not scripture. Amen? That's not scripture. Not scripture. Not scripture. There are a lot of things we, that we do, but we cannot mess with the foundation. That's right. right. You stop bothering the foundation of the houses, I mean, you might well give it up. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It says here, preach another Jesus, whom you have, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, mm -hmm. which we have not, amen, which ye have not received, or another gospel which you have not received, ye might well bear with him. Amen. So we, we, we see, and so this is the this is what's going on. It's nothing new. Paul wrote about it over two thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. Amen. It was it was it was there before Jesus' time. Mm -hmm. It was there uh, two thousand before Jesus because it was there during the times of Moses. Mm -hmm. Right. You got the prophets. Amen. That would prophet. Amen. And then and then uh, then Jehoshaphat said, "Is there a God man around here?" Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Is there a God man around here? Because all these false prophets mm -hmm. telling the king what he wanted to hear. Yeah, That's right. That's he said, right. Is there a man of God around here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all preachers, we got to be men and women of God. Yes. 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 That's yes. it. True. If it don't line up with the word, <laughs> amen, mm -hmm. you've got to search the scripture to see if those things be so. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Let me give you. Let me give you a couple more scriptures here. Amen. And so, and so we see here. We see here. Uh, 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 he tells us, "Be watchful of, uh, Amen, of another Jesus. Be watchful of another spirit. Be watchful of another gospel." That's fine. Yes. Amen. Be mindful of that. It, it is to manipulate. It is, it is to control you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let me give you number three real quick. Number three. Wolves will act one way. Around those that they think that they can influence. Oh, yeah. But then suddenly change behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? They, 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 you know, they have a self-agenda. It is, it, is, it is a 
It is to cause diversion. And at the end of the day, as we said earlier, amen, it's all about them. And, and so we have to be very mindful, amen? amen. It's not about the Bible. The Bible amen. said, let's go to Ephesians chapter 4 right quick and look at this familiar scripture. Ephesians chapter 4, look at this scripture right quick. Uh, because when, when we talk about when we talk about false prophets, false teachers, it is never about the body. That's right. Not in the sense of holiness, godliness, righteousness, uh, correctness. It is. It's about them. It's about what they can gain, what they can seize, what they can can take control of. The Bible said in Ephesians chapter four and verse eleven, it said, and he gave some. Uh, he gave some, not all. He gave some apostles and some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers for the for the perfecting of the saints. See, this is this is the reason for uh, for spiritual gifts and spiritual offices. It is to to perfect the body. Amen. Not for one or two individuals to manipulate the body for selfish gain. It is for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ. Amen. Till we all come into the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure and stature of the fullness of Christ. Amen. That's the reason why God sent apostles and prophets and evangelists and pastors and teachers into the body of Christ. For 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 perfecting, for building, for edification. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Not to slaughter, not to divide. Amen. Not to manipulate. Praise God. It's, it's, it's not about us. Preachers, it's not about us. That's right. That's right. And we have to constantly work on ourselves. That we don't allow that spirit to control and manipulate us to where it's Amen. all about us. Amen. That's right. That it ain't gonna happen without us. You know what I'm saying? Unless I'm preaching, it ain't about nothing. No, it, 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 uh, no, no, no. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. It'll be it'll be a month. Amen. It's been almost a month of Sundays since I preached. Last time I preached was the second Sunday in March. Excuse me, in, in April. Now, I won't be here. I won't be here this Sunday. Can I say something, Bishop? Yes, sir. You still the Bishop. That's right. All right. Well, and, and, it, and it's good for everybody to know who they are and know their role and be comfortable in that yeah. and don't be intimidated or threatened. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. But my point is, is that I don't have to I've said it many times, I don't have to preach all the time. I don't have to teach all the time. I don't have to be up all the time. You know what I'm saying? But but there are those that if we're see, that's why Paul said he had to work on himself. Because Paul said, I've seen some things yeah. that's undescribable to the common man. He's out of big places. And so that's why Paul said, I got to stay home. I got to stay home. Amen. It's not about me. Paul said, I keep myself under subjection. Amen. I don't want to be a castaway. Amen. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. Yeah. Amen. You know, he was constantly keeping himself submitted and surrendered before the Lord. Amen. Because he did not want the spotlight to be on. Amen. Paul had this. Uh, he had to set some folks straight because they were going around and saying, well, I'm with Peter. I'm with Cephas. I'm with the Paul. Yeah. I'm with Paul. Paul, but I ain't with none of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. He had to keep his side. That's right. And preachers, that's what we have to do. That's right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Because, because that spirit of manipulation and influence, it, it, it is it is prevalent among uh, the clergy. Yes, it is. That's right. It is prevalent among the clergy to where clergy now have become superstars. Right. Yeah. Clergy now need bodyguards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. They got bodyguards. That's true. In the church. Mm -hmm. yeah. You go up and take some of the hand. <laughs> Yeah, 
came back. Yeah. Can't take the pastor hand no more. Yeah. Nope. He got bodyguards. That's right. After service, he got a limo away. Yeah. That's yeah. what and everything. Amen. And, and, and why? Because it's all about them. Mm -hmm. That's not that's not the way it, it, it is to operate. Amen. We have to stay humble because that spirit. Hallelujah. We'll take over. Take over. Amen. Let me give you one last here. Praise God. A wolf will always, uh, 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 there'll be one way around certain people. Then there's sudden change. Uh, they'll change behind closed doors. Amen. Amen. See, that's what happened to the people that came here. They were all nice and sweet in front of us. But behind closed doors, they were putting us down, talking about us. Dissecting the house. Amen. So you have to be very careful of that. Very careful of that. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. See, that's why, that's why it takes a special kind of church, a special kind of body to have sale churches. Y'all know what sale churches are. Mm -hmm. It takes a special kind of body, special kind of people to have sale churches. Sale churches primarily, like tonight, a lot of sale churches, they don't meet on Wednesday nights. Mm -hmm. They meet in homes oh, right. yeah. all over the city. Mm -hmm. Some call them zone churches, some call them sale churches. Mm -hmm. Amen? But but now Sunday, they all come together mm -hmm. if the house is large enough to hold everybody. But during the week, they meet in homes. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's dangerous. Yeah. It's a good thing if it works. Yeah. But it's dangerous if, if the intent is wrong. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And that's how many churches are split through those zone of sale churches. That is it. Wow. Because the teacher get in there and start teaching something that's not taught through the shepherd. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. I know a pastor. We know a pastor. We know a pastor that has a that has two or three churches, probably two churches. And what he does, like like if if I said Pastor Sullivan uh uh to to our Malvern. If we had a church in Malvern, if we had a church in Malvern, and and Pastor Sullivan is over the Malvern church, well, what I would do with the shepherd, like this pastor does, I would write out the sermon, and I would give him a copy of it, and I'll have a copy of it, and on Sunday morning, he'll teach and preach what I'm teaching and preaching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in other words, everybody would be hearing the same thing. Yeah. Now to me, that is the form of control. I ain't gonna go too deep into that. God, we know these folks. Yeah. Some of them may be watching. <laughs> but anyway, in a way, but that's what he does. That's true. His position is that he that ensures that everybody's hearing what he's, what he's saying here, they hear it also there. Mm -hmm. You know, but Pastor Sullivan does not have the release of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That's right. To say what the Spirit is saying to him. Yeah. He's reading from a script. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. He's reading from a script. Mm -hmm. And so, but that's that's what they do. Yeah. yeah. I can't, you know, that's their house. I, you know, mm -hmm. what I would do that. But stay to that script. Yeah. <laughs> watch the video. Oh, if, you want, if, you want, if you want to keep going to math, you yeah. better follow that script. Because when I get home, I'm going to watch the tape. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's what it's a, it, it's, a, it's a lot of things going on in a lot of houses. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. What works for this house may not work somewhere else. What works there may not work here. That's right. You know? And so what I'm saying is that we got to be careful that we don't get over into manipulation and to a element of control. Praise God. Amen. But let me leave you with this. We have to be very mindful of the fact that these people are out there, they are real, they, they, they pray on churches. Uh, I had a guy come here, uh, he come here, and uh, I don't know if I shared this with Lady Pastor or not, but this guy come here, 
And uh, he wanted to fellowship with us. He wanted to build a rapport with us. And uh, he said, "Well, I'm I'm a pastor, so and so, so and so, so and so. You know, I'm I'm you know I'm so and so, so and so. You know, and I'm led of the Lord to come and 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 work with you and help you. You know, and I'm sitting there back in my office and I'm just listening, listen, listen, learn to listen, learn to listen. While they talking, the Holy Ghost is speak to you. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he said, he said, I'm a pastor, so and so, uh, and and uh, he said that." Uh, he said, I come out of church without a crack. Oh, I said, I did too. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, uh, he said, yeah, I know uh, uh, I know Bishop Young out of Phoenix, Arizona. Great, great guy. Great man of God. Great man of God. And I said, oh, you do? I said, I know Bishop Young from way back. His eyes got that big. He said, you do? <laughs> I said, yeah. I said, he's in Phoenix now. He's a presiding president in Phoenix. And one of the George Dish and that. One of the biggest ones there in Arizona. He said, really? I said, yeah. <laughs> and then the conversation turned. Mm -hmm. See, because he got caught. Uh -huh. He got caught. Huh. See, you, you, you have to know, you have to learn. <laughs> And the, the Holy Ghost will not allow you to be taken advantage of if you are open to him. That's right. That's right. Open to him. He wanted to come in. He wanted to come in and start a ministry out of the church. And he said, he said, uh, this church will be my home and my home church. And whatever I bring in, the church will get a portion of it. He said, but if the church, if the church would kind of kind of give me a start, mm -hmm. I said, give you a start right through the door. And uh, uh, you know, and we talked for a while. I don't I don't know how to end it, but anyway, he he left and went on down the road. I, you know, I haven't seen him since. And so you have people that will flock in and flock out, and they'll pray on churches. They'll pray on small churches like us. You know what I'm saying? Because they think that we are lacking something, That's and that true. they can fill that void. That's right. I ain't desperate for nothing. That's right. Nothing, man. Uh, Jesus. That's right. I ain't going out seeking for nothing nope. that God don't want me to have. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. God, amen. Whoever God sent here, he sends them here for a reason. Amen. That's fine. He may send, he sent them for a reason, he may send them for a season. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You know what I'm saying? I've been in this thing long enough to know that everybody comes through the doors ain't going to stay. That's right. That's fine. I know that. I know that. Amen. I know that. I learned to, you have to learn to release people. Amen. Amen. And if they left before that time, amen, God has a way of bringing them. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Amen. But, but, but I want us to be mindful of these rules. Amen. And we're going to tear, uh, uh, we're going to share some other things. Amen. Since I can't name no names, y'all took all the fun out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we like to tell it. Yeah. Yeah. I can't tell it like I want to tell it. Yeah. Yeah. I like Jesus. But I am going to name some names because a lot of it is just public information. That's right. You can go out there and do the research. It's out there. Mm -hmm. These false prophets, these yeah. false teachers, amen. Some are well known. Mm -hmm. Some y'all probably didn't support it. Some y'all probably didn't send in the offering. Amen. And, you know, y'all done got a y'all got a prayer call from uh, uh, call from them. Y'all got a little bottle of oil from them. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing. You ain't gonna say nothing. Uh, uh, amen. But a lot of these folks are false prophets. They're false prophets and false teachers. Amen. They play on the emotion of the people. They play on the plight of the people. They play on the desperation of people. Amen. Amen. And they're out there. Amen. Mm -hmm. wow. the, 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 Jesus. The Peter Popoffs of the world. Yeah. The uh, 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 
Benny Davis is of the world. Uh, uh, I can, I can, you know, name. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of them out there. A lot of them out there, black and white. That's right. Uh, that's out there that are taking advantage of, of people. That's right. Uh, you know, and so we have to be knowledgeable of this word, of this book. Amen. And what the word says concerning now, if Jesus tells us to watch out for these folk, yeah. Oh, yeah. come on now. You know, we don't need any other word. If he says, if he says, watch out for wolves in cheap clothing, they may look like a sheep, smell like a sheep, they may sound like a sheep. Jesus. Yeah, there are many women wolves. <laughs> Amen. Any last comments? Any last comments? Any last injection? I got comments. <laughs> yes. I've noticed, and this is just for me personally, you have to watch. If you're watching ministry, you can almost tell by. The time that they come on TV, if they coming on at, you know, midnight, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, Honey. your mind, and, and I'm going to hurt you, if you have a natural sleep pattern, people who are up at those hours, they already got something on their mind anyway. So they're preying on people. Right, because if you know, that's when the the sick dogs commercial come on, oh, the ministry, you know, everybody want money at one, two, three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. So... Pray and go to sleep. That's fine. <laughs> don't turn it on. Don't, don't turn it on. Whatever. Because, yeah, and, and so, uh, and they always have these testimonies. Yeah. They have these testimonies. Yes, I was thinking about what Mother Hill said. She said, You have some she wolves. I had to say this a she wolf is more dangerous than the male wolf. I can see it. Amen. Yes. They are. Yes. Yes. They really are. They're the backbone, uh, backbone of the pack. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. They are the backbone of the pack. And she is nobody playing with. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And that is the way it is. Sure. Wow. Amen. You have a lot more. Uh, you can see it. Now, I'm not knocking the women preachers or pastors, but you can see a spirit mm -hmm. over a lot of women mm -hmm. that are in positions of power and authority. Yes. That where they will uh, be, uh, they'll be over the top, mm -hmm. if I can use that term. Yeah. And uh, they want to prove themselves that I'm just as good as a man. Mm -hmm. I'm, 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 I'm better than a man, whatever. Not saying all of them are that way, right. but a lot of them are. A lot of them are. That spirit has, has come in. And so uh, <coughs> we have to be very careful of that. Very but uh, now, as we said earlier, I'll say it again as I close. We can't throw a blanket on everybody. That's right. right. You know, you can't throw a blanket on everybody. Every prophecy that's given may not, it doesn't mean that it's a false prophecy. It may not be for that season. That's right. Amen. So just weigh it out. <coughs> weigh it out. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, I, didn't, I didn't read all of the scripture over Deuteronomy 18, but where it talks about Moses talk about the prophet. If he doesn't prophet, prophesy what the Lord says. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't come to pass, come on. Mm -hmm. then he says, then this is the way that you're supposed to treat that person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't read all the way down there. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, that's why I said try the spirit by the spirit. That's why I say that we have to know the word of God. And uh, uh, the Bible tells us that man look on the outward appearance. God looks at the heart. Amen. 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 Pastor Sutton. Amen. Um, <clears throat> is, uh, we had had a good uh, teaching tonight. We appreciate uh, the 
Bishop for bringing that to us. Um, truly, we need to know that. Uh, pastors, uh, elders, ministers, lay people are being deceived. That's right. right. That's right. You know I, mean? I mean, it's, it's true. Mm -hmm. um, if you are not yielded to the Lord, you will be deceived by this this TV evangelist stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and so, we have to take heed. <clears throat> We're going to take the request, but before we do, we want us to stand and begin to, to uh, create an environment of thanksgiving mm -hmm. and praise to, unto the Lord. Can we do that? Mm -hmm.
down. Brother. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I would like to say to the church, this brother Blake grew up in a He buried brother yesterday. Yes, yes. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, in the majestic name of Jesus, God, we love uh, Brother Blake, Blake, family, oh, glory, touch, Lord, strength in you and cover this heart, oh, glory, thank you, Lord, glory, that family, cover, Lord, God, that only you can do, really, hallelujah, cover, strength, let him look to Jesus, who is the honor and finish of our faith. Yes, 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 then we have three for understanding and rest or healing. Okay. Yes. Well, read, read the names off that's going to be healed. Okay. Kiosha Brown. Yeah. Kiosha yes. Brown. Yes. yes. Alicia. Yes. Alicia Young. Young. All right. J.C. Bell. Tony Green. Yes. Okay. Sister Brenda Hogan. Mm-hmm. Um, Michael from Archview. Okay. LaVon Foreman. All right. Also Archview for healing. Mm-hmm. Um, Derek Coco, Carl Coop, Carl Coop uh, Linda B, and Linda K. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Let us raise our hand in a, in a comfortable way. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, God, we, we, we pray healing. Yes, Only you can touch, Lord. Yes, Only sir. you can heal, Lord. Yes, the doctor can treat, but you can heal. Yes. Heal from the utmost. Yes. Yes. Each and every, every yes. person yes. that needs yes. a healing on this yes. yes. we can pray. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.